Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's awesome. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. The best way you can support us as a new YouTube channel is by hitting subscribe, and your support is huge. So I thought today we could make another bold free agent prediction. We haven't done one in a little bit, so it's definitely time. And that's going to be no other than Mr. Tomoyuki Sugano. Now, we just recently did a vlog on him, but I thought we could just retouch briefly. He's going to be 31 years old. He's an international free agent coming over from Asia, and he's had some pretty good success. Last year, he was very dominant with an ERA of 2.19, and he's been consistent throughout his time there, except for one year where he had a hip and back issue, which raised his ERA just under four. He threw a no-hitter in the postseason. He's won their equivalent of the Cy Young Award twice, and most Analysts predict him to be a two or three starter in your rotation. I see him more as a four or five. It's going to be how he adjusts to the MLB level. And in talking about the MLB, which team's going to sign him? Well, I believe that's going to be no other than your San Francisco Giants. Now, what's going to lead me to this decision? Well, first, let's talk about the teams that won't be in on him. I did briefly say the Mets, but I think the Mets are just going to be a little bit more patient in whom they sign. They're not desperate to add to their rotation, and anybody they add is actually more of an insurance piece. And that's why they're not going to be as aggressive in getting the signing done. They're just going to wait for somebody a little bit better. The Yankees, they're going to be impatient as well, but they need some help with their rotation. And I've always said that their impatience and really tying up all their time in DJ LeMahieu and their assets as well is really going to be their Achilles heels next season in trying to get starters for the rotation behind Garrett Cole. And again, their impatience is going to lead to Sagano signing elsewhere. In talking about the team, though, that will sign him, that's going to be no other than the Giants. And it's going to be three years, $30 million, $34 million with your posting fees and taxes included, I know a lot of people said two for 24, but I think by the Giants adding that third year, it's going to get the deal done a little bit quicker. And he's going to be a nice addition to the rotation. If you add him behind Kevin Guzman or Zagosman, let me know in the comments. That's a solid one, two right there. That's how they're going to play it. As I said, I see him more as a three or four. But for San Francisco, I guess beggars can't be choosers. And anybody right now would be an upgrade to their rotation because they have holes to fill. And this guy does have a great slider, has amazing control. So they're really hoping with this signing that they're going to get a pitcher like Hinjun Ryu. I'm not saying he is going to be like Ryu. Ryu is somebody special. I'm glad he's on the Jays. But they're really hoping that he doesn't take long to adjust to the MLB level and that he's a solid impact on their rotation and maybe somebody who's going to help them get into the postseason next season. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but that's my prediction. Sagano to the Giants. Three years, $30 million. Everybody stay safe out there. Hit subscribe, and we'll talk soon. Take care.